what's going on guys it's a uh, Nissan guru here uh, it's been a while since I've made a video I'm, I'm, uh, I'm aware uh, it's been rough with school and uh, I've recently moved in the last uh, few months so uh, and getting new jobs and with all that deal it's been very hard to make videos but uh, I'm back don't don't worry uh, haven't gone anywhere I still do have the Sentra um, for for right now there's there's no plans of getting rid of it um, but it is approaching the end of ownership for me is at least but what I'm gonna be doing today for you guys is uh, I'm, I've got some rear speakers in the back here that have recently blown out due to my music and how loud I listen to it so back here we're gonna be replacing the speakers today um, these are it they are kicker DSC 6930s. They are 6x9 speakers, which is the um, factory size replacement for the back of this Sentra. Uh, the Sentra does not have the Rockford Fosgate package, which um, some of the higher end models do come with. Only difference between that and mine is back here in the back, I have 6x9 speakers right here. In the Rockford Fosgate package, you actually have subwoofers up here built into your um, speaker location. So uh, if you do have the Rockford Fosgate package, um, this install may apply a little bit differently to you. Um, but it, needless to say, taking all of this apart, the rear deck and all the seats, that's all the same. As you can see, I also have, this was aftermarket, this is added, obviously. Um, so the reason I went with the kicker speakers is to go with the subwoofer I have. Um, so let's get started. Alright guys, so tools for this project are going to be pretty simple. You're really just going to need a Phillips head to remove the speakers from the actual rear deck as well as either a flathead or if you have the factory Nissan clip removal tool uh, you can buy that online or just you can use any type of flathead it just makes it a lot easier if you have the tool I don't have the tool so I'm just going to use a flathead alright guys so first step is we need to push or actually pull this seat up and forward so that we can get to this plastic trim piece right here. So what you'll do is grab from the front here, lift up, and then turn it forward, and push it down just like that. And you can leave it just like that for now. And we'll do the other side. So the same thing, you'll lift up, push forward, tilt back. And that will allow you access to these trim pieces that we will get to next. <clears throat> Alright, so now with these trim pieces, I've already popped this one up. I am going to show you guys how I did that one though. You want to start all the way from the edge here and pull up. As you pull along here, you'll hear a couple pops. That's it popping out of the connectors. When you get up to here, you're going to want to pull from here and here to pull up this direction and the whole thing will lift out you can set this just to the side for now so now we're going to go and do this one all right so begin over here pull you'll hear it pop 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 some more and then grab here and here lift up lift straight up and it'll pop out and all that is is these connectors popping out of the holes in the clamps that are there Alright, so next step, we have this weather stripping here. So in order to get this middle beam out, which is what we need to get out of this plastic piece, we need to pull this weather stripping out to about down here in order to get access to it. 
Now this is very easy to move. Just pull it from one area. You don't have to pull it all the way off. Just remove it enough to where you can see in between here. So keep going down to where you can see it here now. This will be the next piece we have to remove. And you do have to do this for both sides. And you can just let it hang. Like I said, we're not going to take it all the way off. And you do the same thing for the other side now. Same thing, start with the corner here. Just gently pull it away. I would tuck it towards the inside. There you go. Leave it hang like that. And down to the edge right there. Alright guys, so next step is going to be removing this section of the trim. Uh, the easiest way to do this is by moving this seat down now. Now, you need to wait to do this because you have to take out this bottom trim panel piece first before putting this seat down. So you just pull, move it down. You can move the seat belt out of the way if you want. Just leave it up like that. Now you'll come in the car. right here you use a flathead or again your trim removal tool and get between this and just pry it up and that will pull it out from this piece now you can remove this from the car there you go that's the next step so i will do that again on the other side and we'll be able to move on all right guys, next step, you have to take out these clips that are on the rear deck piece here. There are four of them in total. One, two, three, and four underneath the seatbelt there. I've already taken this one out so you all can see it. This is what it looks like. So again, if you have the Nissan or any type of trim removal tool, it will make this a lot easier than using the flathead but it's still doable so you'll just pry from one side these things are very very thin you have to be very careful with how hard you pry you can see here the um, screwdriver is starting to go through it so if these break it's not necessarily the end of the world you can get replacement ones it's just a hassle having to buy new ones so, and they are definitely a little stubborn. Easiest thing to do is once you pry it up a little bit and can get your fingers underneath, you can kind of pry it evenly. That way it'll come out all the way. And I might break this one, but... Again, if you do, it's not the end of the world. And it's definitely where having one of those tools is easier, but... See, I'm bending it. We'll get in here again. starting to go definitely wasn't this hard on the first one here we go if you work it in like circular motions it'll come out a little better as you can see there's the clip and there we go so you see it kind of kind of messes it up pretty bad pulling it out of there but there's two out of four so I'll take these other ones out and we'll show you what's next alright guys so I found a lot easier way actually to, to get these uh, clips out uh, it'll save you a little stress and a little time like it did for me um, 
when these are in here like this, if you can get it out far enough to something like this, or even even if it's closer in, take your pair of needle nose pliers, and get in between it like this, and pull to pull it out. This was already out, so it came out really easily. But it'll still take some effort, but it will come out a lot easier. As you can see with this, the tops are so brittle that when you're trying to pull, it's just going to bend and you don't have a good anything good to grasp onto to pull it out of there. So that's the easiest thing you can do is get these needle nose pliers in there. That way it'll pull out. Alright guys, so next step, as you can see I already pulled this one out, but I'll, sh I'll show you on the other one, just like the whole video. Um, this is the final piece you'll have to m remove before being able to lift this entire structure up and out to get to the speakers. So in order to, the easiest way to do this is to grab from here and pull towards the center of the vehicle, to pull towards the inside. As you pull this, it'll release. You'll have to reach down here, release, and pull, just pull out like this. This will reveal where to get to to pull the deck out, as well as here's your airbag, so be very careful um, to avoid uh, any extra bumps or vibrations against that. Pulling this out is perfectly fine. It's not going to mess with the airbag or anything like that. Just leave it be. Don't don't mess with it and you'll be fine. So, we will move over to this one now. Same thing with this as with over here. You're going to start from right here. Pull in towards the center of the vehicle. Reach up here. Pull in. Up here. You might want to lift up a little bit as well. But as you go along, just pull out. There you go. It's fully loosened. Pull it out away from your from your headliner. And it'll slide right out. Again, here's your other airbag. So now we should be able to lift this whole thing out. This is the next step. Well, guys, not sure how easily you can see this, but next step, you're going to be taking this clip off your speaker um, so that way when you remove this rear deck, you can just get to the speaker a lot easier. And if you forget about this and try and pull out the speaker, you're going to pull all these wires with it. So, and again, mine set up here is going to look a little differently than yours because since I have the subwoofer, I've got extra wires going into uh, the speaker here. So you won't have these yellow wires on yours. So do this clip. Easiest thing to do is stick something in there to poke. And then just pull down on it. <laughs> like I said, it's not the easiest thing to get to. There you go. So this just comes out of there. That's all you got to do for now. Alright, next step. If you have the SR like I do, which is the trim model for the Sentra, you won't have a third brake light right here. Because um, it's built into the spoiler in the trunk. If you do have a third brake light right here, what you have to do take this assembly push it towards the windshield and that will release the clips that are right here in the forward part once you push that forward you should be able to lift up and pull it out just enough to get to the bulb that's under there once you get to the bulb you'll just untwist it and pull it out you can leave the bulb and connection sitting there and take the housing out and remove it from the vehicle since I don't have that, I just have a plastic piece here. I don't have to worry about it. It'll come up with the whole rear deck when we pull this up. Alright, so to remove this rear deck, you're going to grab anywhere from over here in the corner. Pull up. You'll hear it release on one side. Go over to the other side, over here. Same thing, pull up. 
<coughs> or push up technically. It's going to give you a little bit of difficulty, but um, yeah, that should be fine. Again, all these things with the seat belt, all the things where you would put child safety harnesses, all this can be left in place. So when you pull this whole thing up, you're not going to be able to take it all the way out of the car because of the seat belts, but you will be able to move it forward enough to get to these speakers. So. Now that the whole thing's loose, you should be able to grab from the back or either side and start to pull it forward. It's going to give you a little bit of trouble, but uh, there it goes. So once you pull it up like this on each corner, you'll have to either grab from both sides and pull out towards you. And that allows this entire thing to swing forward now. I'll get out and, out and I'll show you. So now we can pull this forward. You flip it up like that. So there's the underside of your rear deck now. And there's your speakers. Alright, so got my screws out, all four here. Um, one thing you might run into is once you get the screws out, the speaker won't move. So you're like, well, what's going on? I, them out they should come out sometimes the, just the pressure alone the heat from the car will kind of fuse these on easiest thing to do just grab a flathead and pry it up that's all I gotta do and now there you go now it's out Oh, there's your old one. So you can see this one was pretty worn down, pretty rough. I think the other one is even worse, because I believe that's the one that's buzzing. So, this is where you're... There's your old. There's your new. Alright, so as you can see, we've placed the new speaker in there. Still got the old one over there. Um, so now you're going to want to align the holes according to, depending on what speaker, what brand you get and everything like that. These holes might not line up perfectly. Mine, I'm, I see, might have an issue with some of these. Um, as long as you've got a few of them screwed in, you really don't need to have all four in there. It's not essential. Um, but as long as you get a couple in there, they just, for the most part, it should line up. You might have a little issues with fitting, but for the most part, it'll work. All right, so once the speaker is in, like it is now, um, you will need to add your connections onto the uh, terminals of the speaker. Now, I ordered mine through uh, crutchfield.com. Um, if you order through them and you put you, the type of car that you have, um, they will they'll tell you what speakers will fit your car. They also usually include a stock connector like this to uh, go into your factory plug. Otherwise, you would have to take these wires and run them into this white piece without having this um, black connector on here. So all you have to do in this case, there's one thick and one thin plug. 
so you find which one goes to which. This thick one goes on like so. And then you take the thin one and that one goes on just like that as well. So that's all you need to do for this side. Um, ignore this. This is a uh, my crappy wiring job I did for the uh, subwoofer that I'm gonna have to fix now um, and so after you now this side it's completely done you're done over here so now you'll move on to removing this side and putting the new speaker in as well alright guys so as you can see everything's buttoned back up everything's put back together uh, everything sounds fine once you get everything put back together you're probably gonna want to make sure there's no rattling no uh, sounds that weren't there before um, just make sure you got everything buttoned up tight um, so appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this if you liked what you saw um, please subscribe uh, I will be having more videos coming out in the future about this as well as uh, whatever car I get next I'll definitely be uh, putting out videos on that as well again don't worry this car is not going anywhere for the uh, foreseeable future so if you have any questions about any other parts that are difficult for you to do um, just send me a, a DM or a comment on the video and I will do my best to uh, show you guys what's needed to be done